In this video, we will review a new type of object in Stateflow called messages. Messages are quite useful for modeling asynchronous operations in state machines. Let's take a look through an example. So this system has two key components, a sender and a receiver. The sender chart generates messages at random intervals, which are queued and processed by the receiver at a different rate. Let's look at the sender first. The sender generates messages using the command send in the state create and send. Messages can also carry data, which can be used to make decisions or perform actions. These generated messages can be transmitted through message lines in Simulink and held in a queue at the input of this receiver chart. The receiver starts in the ready state. It checks if a message is available in its queue. Once a message is available, it goes from the ready state to processing. It stays in processing for a fixed period before going back to ready. A couple of things to note. A message gets destroyed after it is used. So after the message has been used in this transition, the top message in the queue stays valid till the end of the time step and then gets destroyed. The next time this transition is evaluated, it will check if a new message exists in the queue. Also, here's an example of how to access message data. So in this example, the receiver processes messages when it is ready, which can be asynchronous with respect to the sender. To visualize the life of a message, use the message viewer block from the Stateflow block library. This block shows where messages are sent, received, destroyed at different times during simulation. 